Number 7 is the rectangle ABCD has vertices A minus 1, 2, 3, B 2, 6, minus 9, and D 3, Q 8. Determine angle between two diagonals. Now, this is a very interesting question. We are given the vertices, not the vectors. Okay. So, let me just make a rectangle here. Always write in a particular order, in any order, right? If you want to write A here, begin with A, B, C, and D, right? So, so it becomes like this. So, in particular order, you could go clockwise or counterclockwise. Now, what we are given here is that coordinates for point A are minus 1, 2, 3. For B, it is 2, 6, minus 9. For C, we don't know, and for D, we know it is 3, Q is not known, and 8. We have to find what C is. Now, there are a couple of ways to do it. Easiest way is, we can say that these two sides are equal and, you know, they are 90 degrees. Perfect. So, so we know that A to D is same as B to C, right? So we know AD is same as BC. Now if you see A to D, AD basically is how do you get 3 from minus 1? You add 4, right? So if you see A to D, it is this minus this. A to D is this minus this, which is 4, q minus 2, and 8 minus 3, which is 5. Now, c we don't know, so we'll write this as x, y, z. Is it okay? So, it is equal to x minus 2, y minus 6, and z minus 9, which becomes minus and minus is plus. So from here clearly we get three different equations and so we can find x, y and z. So the first one is x minus 2 equals to 4 which is 4 equals to x minus 2 or 6 is equals to x. So we get the x value, right? Then we have q minus 2 equals to y minus 6 so we actually get y in terms of q. Taking 6 to this side, we get q plus 4 equals to y. The last one here is 5 equals to z plus 9. Or when you take away 9 from 5, we get minus 4 equals to z. So the coordinates for point C basically are 6. And in terms of q, we have q plus 4 and we have minus 4, right? Now that's the trick part. How do we find Q? How do we find Q? Now to find Q, the dot product between AB and AD is 0, right? So to find Q, what we are going to use is that AD dot AB equals to 0. That is what we are going to use. We could have done this initially and then this exercise. It was better. Now let's do it. So AD is 4, Q minus 2 and 5 dot A to B is 2 minus this we get 3, 6 minus 2 we get 4, minus 9 minus 3 is minus 12. And that should be equal to 0. So let's multiply. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 4q minus 8 minus 12 times 5 is 60 equals to 0. So we can calculate q now. So 4q is equal to, um, let's do this. So we'll do 12 minus 8 minus 60, which is minus 56. Taking it to the right side, we get plus 56. So this 
gives you q as equals to 56 by 4. So 56 by 4 is 40, right? 40. Perfect. So we get a value of q. Since we know now q is 14, let me rewrite this as 3, 14, and 8. And q is 14, so this means c is equal to 6. 14 plus 4 is 18, minus 4. So we know c now. Since we know C, we can now find the diagonals and the angle between them. So diagonal AC, what is AC equals to now? So diagonal AC is C is 6, 18 minus 4. So diagonal AC is, A is this, 6 minus minus becomes 1, 18 minus 2, minus 4, minus 3. That is AC. So AC is 7, 16, minus 7. That is AC. Let's find what BD is. Okay. So we can write DB as you wish. We can write DB. DB is 2 minus 3, which is minus 1, 6 minus 14, which is uh, minus 8 and minus 9 minus 8 which is minus 70 so that becomes db right this minus this. now to find the angle between them that is to say now we have this diagonal that is the angle theta we want right so the angle cos theta is equal to dot product of these two so let me write 7 16 minus 7 dot minus 1 minus 8 minus 17 divided by magnitude of these which is 7 square plus 16 square plus minus 7 square times 1 let me write 164 and 17 square Two eighty nine. Correct. So that becomes the cos theta part. So let's do the dot product now. Seven minus seven we get sixteen times eight with a negative sign. Sixteen times eight is equals to one twenty eight. And then we get plus seven times seventeen. One one nine divided by square root of uh, 7 square plus 16 square uh, plus 7 square is equal to square root of 354 times square root of uh, 1 plus 64 1 plus 64 plus 17 square is 289 equals to again 354 right so that is 354 now this is equal to we're going to 119 take away 7 take away 128 is equals to minus 16 divided by 354 right so we have 16 divided by 354 which is 8 over 177 anyway so we can find theta from here. Now since this is negative, we are actually finding the this angle for negative, right? Obtuse angle. So let me write the acute angle first, which will be kind of positive because uh, both are the right answers, right? So, so what we can do here is we can find theta as cos inverse of 16 over 354 so we get shift cos inverse of 16 divided by 354 which is equal to 87.4 right 
So that becomes the acute angle. The other angle is 180, I'm sorry. The other angle is 180 minus 87.4, which in decimals is 92.6. So we can say the other angle, let's call this as phi, is equal to, is equal to 92.6. So these are the two answers for the given question. So I hope you have learned about dot products in this particular video. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.